For as long as space exploration has existed, rockets have been the only way for humans to reach space. But in the future, we could make use of a colossal space elevator. While it's not a skyscraper, the space elevator would be the tallest reaching structure ever imagined by humans. Extending from the Earth's surface up to an altitude of 22,000 miles, this ultra-mega structure would be the most insane engineering and construction project in the history of mankind. Unbelievably so, NASA and other scientists actually claim the science and concept behind the space elevator is sound, and scientists around the world are optimistic that such a space elevator can be built, and there are currently scientists conducting tests and research to develop the technology needed. What might also surprise you is that the idea of a space elevator is not a new one. In fact, the idea was born as far back as 1895 by a Russian scientist named Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, and there has since been several attempts to make a realistic plan for how such an elevator can be constructed. Well over a century later, science fiction has become actual science, and we could see a space elevator in use much sooner than expected. In the fairy tale Jack and the Beanstalk, a young boy climbs a beanstalk into the sky and reaches the clouds. Now the 21st century version of this is called the Space Elevator, and oh yeah, it is physically possible. The biggest space agencies want to build motorized elevator pods that are powered up to space via one long tether. Stretching up from a spaceport at the equator, the elevator would lead to a space station in an orbit overhead and the centrifugal forces of the Earth's rotation would hold the entire structure aloft. Theoretically, rockets, satellites, and even people could be shipped into space this way, opening up a brand new gateway into space tourism that would make Elon Musk nervous. Even though the structure alone would cost a mind-blowing $10 billion to build, NASA actually claims it would be both less risky and less expensive to fund than a lot of pre-existing space programs. The main problem with space travel is cost. To put you in orbit around the planet Earth costs about $10,000 a pound. The space elevator, though, could achieve that for as little as $25 per pound. But while it will be a cheaper way to travel to space, it will also take a lot more time. Just think about it. Instead of traveling with a rocket, you would literally take the elevator. And even with the elevator traveling at a theoretical top speed of 190 miles per hour against gravity, it would still take a whopping five days to travel the distance of 22,000 miles up to the top. That's one hell of a long elevator ride. So I, I think 50 years we'll definitely have people going up and it probably won't be just Bob and Lee Chow. It'll be tourists. It'll be um, more general public in addition to workers, people going up for business. Uh, scientists going up for studies. It's a very realistic scenario. But the biggest obstacle for now is the issue of finding suitable building materials. You see, traditional building materials like steel would make the tether too heavy to launch into orbit. One plausible solution might be super strong carbon nanotubes made of fullerene and graphene, materials that are both light and ultra strong. However, it is still difficult to produce these materials in large quantities and to date only small amounts and short strands have been successfully produced. However, there are several companies and organizations working on solving the many issues, and both China and Japan have started pre-construction work on their own space elevators. The Chinese say they plan to build a space elevator by 2045, and Japan say they will build it by 2050. And with that, the space elevator race has already begun. Pretty exciting, isn't it?